After cleanup efforts are underway after wild winds tore through Jefferson County during the late night and early morning storms. NBC 15's Marcus Oswald is in Fort Atkinson, where according to the National Weather Severe Service, 80 miles per hour winds flattened numerous trees. When I came in this morning, I couldn't even get in the driveways and it was it was a terrible shock. Ground Supervisor Ron Farrell can't believe his eyes after seeing the trees destroyed at Evergreen Cemetery. It just looks like to me that something just dropped down and took the north end of this, or the east end of this cemetery and just ripped everything apart. Basically everywhere you look around the cemetery you can see multiple trees just like this big one where it completely toppled backwards reaching into neighbors backyards crushing their fence and gravestones. I've, I've never heard anything like it. It was like, it sounded like our house was gonna get lift up, lifted up and pushed out. Jenna Benkin and Trevor Downing live next to the cemetery and one tree landed on their fence but missed their home. Honestly, it could have been so worse because yeah. if that tree fell on our house or that tree fell this way instead of that way, our house would be gone. Have you seen anything like this before ever? No, I've lived here my whole life. We've been saying that all day. We've never seen nothing like this. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Once their power is back on, the neighbors plan on helping Evergreen with cleanup efforts, something Farrell says is desperately needed. Uh, we have to just think positive where maybe we can get some donation for trees, replant the trees, because this is a jewel to Fort Atkinson, you know. In Jefferson County, Marcus Arsvold, NBC 15 News. We Energies estimates all power will be restored by Monday. The latest report from the National Weather Service in Milwaukee says the strong winds caused the tree damage. NWS has not received any reports indicating tornado damage in southeastern Wisconsin.